Yeah, so um, this happened this morning before I went to work. See there on the swag line? Goes there. And round from there. And then in here. What do you mean? That's always great, isn't it? Start your morning off on the Friday like that. So, I'm going to park up somewhere and then we'll talk about this because I posted a little clip of it on Snapchat and I've got many messages and I don't like it's, I can't be asked to text it also if I just make a video I'll clear it all up so I'm going to just go film a quick video for you Okay I'm hoping the audio is going to come out alright on this and if you're wondering what this blurb is it's here my screen's cracked over my front camera so that's what that is and I'm sitting in traffic on the way back to work so there's no point in me waiting to park up because I might not have time so basically what happened was I was in a bit of a rush, like I was tired. I wasn't like driving fast, I was just tired. Like I just jumped out of bed, jumped in my car, coming out and web. Basically when I'm moving my car out of the way, my road's got like a sharp, quite a sharp bend, like hey with the A45 and that won't well, even bother going around it to pick me up, I'll have to wait at the end because he's done the curb his wheels because it's quite tight. And someone had parked on the so on the right hand side of the bend it's just a curb. Left hand side is curb and then cars parking it. And obviously, park, cars are parked there, parked all the way close to the curb as they can, which is obvious reason why. But, there's an Audi TT parked on there, like an older one. And I didn't notice this, because I was in like, like, I was driving. The camera fell, and now I'm at the red light, that I'm waiting in the traffic for again, so I might as well just carry on this and just crop it. Basically, yes, yeah, so there's an Audi TT there, an older one parked there on the corner, like on the actual sweep and bend bit, and where I was quite tired, I must have not, notice how much space I was giving I know obviously I never want to hit my tires like curb my wheels so I always go a bit over and um, I was just driving like normal and then I felt like like a hop sort of thing sort of like as if I curbed it but I was like there's no curb there and then I was like shit I've hit that car haven't I but I hadn't hit it where the person had parked they'd full locked all the way like down left so the tire instead of being straight on the bend so you go around a bend and then it's like pointing out like that. So that like that. So the tire was full locked out. So obviously it's poking like this much more out than what I'd have thought I'd give it space for. So I've clipped it on the corner of this geezer's tire and it's just like, as you can see, it's like, it's just slightly scraped. I'm hoping lightly scraped down the side straight of my car. And I was like, fuck. So I got out, his hazard was going off, there's no alarm. And I was like looking at his car and there was no damage. Obviously it's just hit his tire. And I wasn't going fast at all so I couldn't have nudged it back to like break any rods or shit so I was like fuck where is this guy so I can say listen mate I've just hit your tyre sounds a bit stupid but I've hit your tyre but I couldn't even see him and then so when I go back because I've literally I was I had to get to work so when I go back I was have to knock on his door and be like if there's any damage to your car let me know but I can't see how anything's happened now the lights have changed again so you're probably going to fall over Alright, so as you can see, I'm parked up now. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been on trying to think what I've said because obviously this has been cut so many times. So, yeah, driving around the corner, out of my road, is sharp. TT left his wheel fully locked out, so I haven't noticed that. And then I've just hit the edge of the tyre, which has then gone down the side of my car on the... So, offside door, offside lower side skirt, and then offside rear panel. But this is the good thing about wrap. I can just peel that off and rewrap it and hope the paint work underneath is still fine. If I didn't have the wrap on, I would have probably fuck the paint work up, I'll be really honest, and that would be a lot more expensive than wrap. But yeah, obviously this is not something you really want to happen on your Friday morning when you need to MOT your car, service your car, and then the month after that, you've got insurance, and also next month I'm going to America. So, I have a lot to pay out for at the moment, and this is not something I want to add. So, I'm going to meet Steve tonight after work, and we're going to hopefully get it off. Or, I'm like I'm trying to rub it, but I don't want to fuck the wrap. But obviously, where he's skidding on it, it's probably going to fuck the wrap anyway. But, I mean, I just want it to try and get as clean as possible because tomorrow is going to be like a big day for my car, sort of thing. Like, not in modification wise, it's, I'm going to be feed. My car's going on a another another YouTube channel. I don't know 
if that's been announced or not yet, so I'm not going to say exactly who or what or how. But it's going to be on another channel tomorrow, and I wanted this looking perfect, and I've just done that to my car. So you can probably tell I'm going to be a bit pissed off about that fact that that's happened, but that's life. Nothing goes to plan, does it? Something's got to go wrong down the way. It was going too smooth sailing from now. Uh, I don't know how much that's going to cost to rewrap either. Oh well, anyway, I should go to work. So I hope this small little update video does answer people's questions because I don't want to text everyone back. It's not that I don't want to text everyone back. It's when something happens like this, you do not want to keep telling everyone like non-stop texting it out because it just pisses you off more and more every time you type it. So that's what's happened. Leave a like for my pain. Comment if you think I'm an idiot. And subscribe anyway because your boys should just subscribe. See ya. <laughs> See you boys in the next one. Peace.